a while now I've had the WeatherTech desk phone. It's a real simple stand that allows you to mount your cell phone in it on any flat surface to free up your hands to do other things. You don't have to worry about leaning your phone up against something and it falling over or what have you. And I, I've really liked it. I've used it at home and at work and it's come in handy. However, it does have its limitations. Now let me go over the desk phone here and show you what it's got. So I've got my Kyocera DuraForce Pro 2 mounted in it. I'll just slide that out so you can see it's just got a real basic frame here that you can slide most cell phones in. On the back there's a thumb screw with a slot. You can loosen it up and you can adjust it as wide or narrow as necessary to fit most cell phones. There's also a thumb screw at the base that you can use to loosen it up to adjust the angle at which the cell phone is mounted to whatever you need. On the bottom there's three rubber feet and this is just designed to set on any level surface. So I've used it, it's come in handy, I like it, but it does have its limitations. I've tried to use it as a miniature tripod for filming videos, and one of the problems that, that came up right away is that I can only film in portrait. This will not pivot the phone so that I can use landscape, and I really don't like that about this. The other thing is it's low to whatever surface it's mounted on. There's no extension or adjustment on this, so I could raise it up a little bit, that sort of thing. So those two, ha those two uh, features that it doesn't have have been somewhat of a hindrance to me, but I still like the desk phone. Now, one more thing about the desk phone is that it's really not meant for use in a vehicle. It's meant for mounting on a flat surface, and, and it's just, it's, it's not meant for inside of a vehicle. So at some point, WeatherTech came up with what they call the cup phone, which is a desk phone for inside your car. It mounts in your cup holder. You know, it is what it says it is. However, it has the same, or it had the same limitations as this basic early desk phone. And I didn't want that if I was going to have this sort of thing in my vehicle. I wanted to have more features. At a later point, they came out with an extension so that you could raise the phone up, making it easier to get to, but it still wasn't enough to make me want to purchase one of these things. Then they decided to modify it so that you could mount the phone portrait or landscape. Now at this point, I'm ready to buy one of these things. So I finally got around to ordering one of these. I got the WeatherTech cup phone with the extension and the uh, different mount, I guess you could call it, that allows you portrait or landscape mounting of your cell phone. I ordered it on Amazon for $63 with free shipping without Amazon Prime, and it showed up two days later in this small box. And what's inside the box is fairly simple. Just a clear plastic bag with the cup phone in it. There's a little tool here. I'll show you what that's for a little bit later. Wedged on the inside of the box are instructions and a catalog. So the cup phone here has thumb screws like the desk phone. There are two thumb screws on the back instead of one, and these little slides come out. It's slotted. Little slides come out on the left and right side so that you can mount your phone in here in landscape if you'd like. There is a thumb screw behind that so you can change the angle at which the phone is mounted and there's a thumb screw at the base for the extension. So in your vehicle you have a lot more options as far as moving this around to a location, an angle that might be conducive to using it in your vehicle. As far as the base goes, it's rounded and stepped, and it looks a little bit unusual, but there's a reason for this. It's designed to fit different size cup holders because there isn't a universal size for all vehicles. If you flip it upside down on the bottom here where it says Made in the USA, you'll see that there's a slot cut in the bottom, and it's kind of oddly shaped. It actually matches the shape of this little plastic tool that came with it. Now. I've already taken this apart a couple times and I've figured out a few things about it, but when I opened it up the first time, each of the layers were staggered in a little bit of a pattern. And if you press on the layer immediately behind whatever layer you're trying to remove, you'll pop off these one at a time. If you wanted to pop off several of these, you would just go down to whichever layer you were trying to get to to remove these. And there's two ways to do it. According to the instructions, 
you just set the tool down on a flat surface and you line line it up with the base of the, the cup bone here it should fit right into that slot and when you push down let's see if I can get it right here when you push down you just grab the outside layer and push down and it'll simply remove that to make it a little bit smaller and what you're gonna do is just keep removing them until you find the size that fits in your vehicle another way I found that you can remove the layers is by inverting the cup bone holding it in one hand upside down taking the tool with your other hand lining up the layer you want to remove you might have to pivot the bottommost layer to expose more surface for the tool to ride on and simply pressing down with your palm maybe a little bit more surface there pressing down with your palm you can remove it that's if you're somewhere where I guess you don't have a flat surface so reinstallation is easy they just snap back together and you can move these around to get to different layers so let's go see it inside the pickup truck so I'm in the pickup truck now please bear with the audio quality or that lack thereof in this part of the video I've tried to adjust the microphone settings on the camera so you can still hear me inside the cab but hopefully it blocks out some of the background noise we have a highway nearby and a lot of people like to cut through our neighborhood so it's a little bit difficult filming outdoors here the cup bone the way it is is too wide to fit into the cup holder on my 2020 Colorado so I'm gonna go ahead and pop off the outermost layer I'm just gonna spin this until I can see a good portion of the surface of the layer behind it and then just take the tool and pop off the outermost layer that barely fits in the cup holder so I'll go to the next layer I'll just pivot this to expose the layer underneath just pop that off with the tool that fits in about halfway that's not too bad but I'm gonna take off one more layer and just see if that makes any difference pop that off now that drops in all the way so I think that's where I'm gonna leave it I can pivot this I can spin it around in the cup holder and it's easy to remove but it does seat in there all the way so I think this is this is the setting that I want to have for my 2020 Colorado now it's time to adjust the cup phone I'll start with the extension I'll just loosen up the thumb screw for that and raise it up all the way then I'm gonna loosen up the thumb screw here that would be on my left side to move the slide and I'm going to put my phone in in portrait here get it in place here tighten up the thumb screw underneath there's the other pivot on this so I can loosen that up and pivot the phone towards me some I can also loosen up the thumb screw at the bottom of the extension and pivot the phone back so really it's up to me exactly what angle I want to set this to let me turn on the screen it's easy to read and whatnot and I can keep my eyes on the road and have my phone right here where I can get to it if I pull over or if I'm at a stoplight. I do not encourage anybody to be doing anything on their phone while they're actively driving. Now something I'd like to try out here is putting it in landscape. So let me loosen both thumb screws on the back of this frame and open it up on both sides. Turn the phone sideways here. Tighten down both thumb screws and let me turn on the camera I've already got it on the reverse angle and there we go so now when I'm doing a speaking squibbish inside the truck instead of just jamming the cell phone in the cup holder and you just see the console in front I can actually be driving with my eyes on the road and my hands on the controls and you could actually see me talk you can see my face if, if you really want to while I'm doing a video and that's part of the reason I decided to get this was so that I can make videos like this without it affecting my driving so the only thing I really need to do now is to take this thing on a road trip and just see how well it does do the thumb screws come loose over time going over bumps or anything are there any problems with this so what I'll do is if I have any feedback positive or negative I'll comment on my own video and you can read that anything I have to say about this 
that I didn't cover in this video or anything that I experienced uh, over time using this. Otherwise, there'll be a link for this particular model in the description section. And I'll see you out there on the road, I guess. Thanks for watching.